So a lot of people aren't going to like this, but you need to accept this as a truth. Kanye West and Kyrie Irving are, they need a massive apology, especially from that of the, and I'm going to put this in asterisks, the Jewish community. If you go back to history in World War II, the Jews that were there aren't actually the real Jews. Aren't actually the real Jews. Aren't actually the real Jews. They've essentially adopted the religion. And they're not even an actual tribe. Uh, their ancestry, uh, if you go back, uh, was not all Jewish. They essentially turned into Jews sometime around 1400 A.D. After World War II, they were put in Jerusalem. Uh, they were essentially just put there. And um, the other allies had kicked out thousands, millions of the peoples that were originally at Jerusalem. And, you know, the other thing with this is that what Kyrie shared, that video that he shared, there is nothing on it that talks bad about the Jews. What it does say is it says that African Americans are the lost tribe of Israel. They were, they are the real Hebrews. They are the real Hebrew, real Hebrew, real Hebrews. What is anti-Semitic about that? What is anti-Semitic for African Americans to want to join your religion? But you call it anti-Semitic because you are a bunch of racists. And you're scared. You're scared. You're scared. Because you're not the actual tribe of Jerusalem. You are not Jewish. Not Jewish. Not Jewish. Not Jewish. You've joined the religion, but your ancestry does not go back to being an actual Hebrew. Your ancestry does not go back to being an actual Hebrew. So what is anti-Semitic about saying that? It sounds like this Jewish community is a bunch of racists who don't want African Americans to join their religion. To they don't want to them to be recognized as a tribe of uh, actual Jewish Hebrews. Where history goes back and confirms this. History goes back and confirms this. History goes back and confirms this. Another thing is, is I've never seen a bank cancel anybody. Uh, during the George Floyd protests, I didn't see a black family get courtside tickets at a major NBA game to protest. It must be nice. It must be nice to spend the same amount of money that a family could use to buy a house for courtside tickets to protest. And that's all I have to say.